Hi guys, today I want to try on and review trench coats from four different brands. Trench have been around for over a century now and have gained popularity for its classic, chic and timeless style. These are a different price point but all made high quality, at least to the level of my standard. All coats will be linked down below with the sizes I've chosen as well as my body measurements in case you want them for reference. Let's get started! This one is from Reformation. I got it in a size extra small because they were out of stock for this small one, which is my normal size with the brand. And I really wanted to try this one. Right out of the box, this felt very substantial and luxurious. It doesn't say that it is waterproof or water resistant, but the material feels like it is. It's almost like that shiny and smooth material that most traditional raincoats have. The actual material though is composed of mostly cotton, but it does have some polyester. I believe it's the longest out of all one that I'm reviewing today. It's advertised as a ankle length, and though it doesn't hit me on my ankle per se, it's pretty long compared to my other coats that I have. Do keep in mind, I am in the petite side, measuring five foot three inches, and so if you are taller, obviously this will fit you much shorter. In the description in the website, it says it's a relaxed fit, which I respectfully disagree. I don't have the largest chest or back, and this one fits very tight on those area. Even if I size up to my normal size with the brand, I don't think this will feel relaxed, but more like a tailored classic style. It's fully lined. The website calls it brown, but again, I disagree. To me, it looks more like a beige, maybe a tan. It also comes in black, but for the purpose of this video, and because I think a tan one is more classic to the original style trench coat, I decided to go for this one. The buttons are a classic two-tone brown, which I noticed that most of these coats have the same style of buttons. It's a double breasted style, and it has a detachable belt. It has that button line detail on the shoulder and the cuffs. The sleeves are at a good length on me, which doesn't always happen they could be a bit shorter but i feel that if you layer underneath it they will go a little bit shorter once you style it the quality of this piece is 100 percent there in my experience that is always the case with this brand i have never gotten a piece from them that i found poorly made or defective even most times you do get what you pay for and that is the case with this brand they are also advertised as a sustainable brand that uses recycled materials so i don't mind having to save up to afford their pieces which also helps me to make more conscious decisions when it comes to shopping in terms of style to me the strange coat is as close as it gets to the original design where it's almost a straight cut but it slightly flares at the bottom which is something to keep in mind some prefer that straight up and down look and I noticed that this one has more like an A-line look this one is from all these stories I got it in a size 0 which again they were sold out of a size 2 which is my normal size with the brand but I got lucky and I was able to later order size 2 which I will also show in this video the length of it is just a couple inches shorter than the one from Reformation the material of the coat is mostly organic cotton and it has a little bit of spandex in it. So for this coat, you do feel that cottony material, very clothing-like. Think about like a cotton canvas material piece that you have, maybe a pair of 100% cotton cargos or a thick t-shirt. This one is listed as a classic fit and I 100% agree. This one is more like a straight up and down fit. This one too is fully lined and just like the previous, it does have a removable belt, but this one has a buckle. But honestly, I don't think I will use the buckle. I will just tie it in a way that I can just quickly undo it and not buckle it. And it gives a more relaxed layback look, which I'm really into. It's double breasted and it has that shoulder tab with the button, which some website calls it shoulder line with a button. This one is the closest one in terms of style to the very first one I showed from Reformation. In terms of quality, this one too feels very substantial. Not as substantial as the other one, but I believe that's because of the way that the cotton material was made. But I still think the quality is there. It says it's a beige color, which I can totally be off on this, but to me it looks more like a tan. In either case, it's a classic trench coat tone which makes it more versatile but this one also comes in a checker pattern color too which i think is very interesting this trench coat also is one of the most affordable options out of all the ones that i'm showing today This 
this next one is from Cezanne, another sustainable brand based in Paris. I have shown their pieces before, I have reviewed them in the past, and I love their sweaters and their blouses. I think they're very interesting. This coat was the very last one I ordered because, again, they were out of stock on my size, which is a common theme across all the coats I ordered and why it took me so long to get this video up. But they came back in stock, and so I was able to order a size 34 European or 2 US. So throughout the video, you'll see me wearing a size 2, but just for reference, he's a size 4. Honestly, I did not have any high expectations for this curl. I almost didn't order. I heard this before and in my own experience, I find that the pictures on the website do not do the best job at describing the items. And so you almost don't know how the item is going to fit and feel. Nonetheless, I ordered the coat, I got it, and oh my goodness. Right out of the box, coats feel very substantial and the quality of it, you can tell that a lot of effort and thought was put into the making of this coat. Speaking of boxes, the Sense packaging is such a unique experience. If you've never ordered anything from them in the past and you're able to, I highly suggest you do so. The box where the items comes in is a piece of art itself. It also comes with the first name on a separate added label, which I think is such a thoughtful personalized touch. So on the back of the skirt with the sleek goes, they have this almost hidden button detail. And the way they made the pleats on it is just those little details that always get me. The material is made of 100% cotton, which unlike other cotton material coats it feels like this rubberized cotton material which was the way that the original trench coat was made to make it water resistant so this one does not say that it is this one too is fully lined not only with this beautiful material but it's also super soft on the skin this coat is the shortest one out of all the ones that I'm showing today which can be a good thing or a bad thing depending on what you're looking for if you are in the petite side and you're looking for something that doesn't hit you too long then this is a good option it comes in this camel color as well as in navy and a khaki. This one too has that line button detail on the shoulder and on the cuffs and that removable belt. The website recommends that you size down if you are between sizes or that you stay through the size. I even recommend that you size up depending on the fit that you're looking for and how you build if you have broad shoulders or if you want a loose fit, if you're planning to wear thick sweaters underneath it because this one is a very classic fit and so there's not a lot of room <laughs> over here to thick, thick sweaters if you size down. Overall, if you like that almost straight classic style and you like the length, I think this is an excellent option. Quality is 110% there and because of the style, regardless of what you wear underneath, this is something that will automatically elevate your look. from Everland and though it's not called a trench coat per se, it's actually called a MAC coat. I did want to try something a little bit different. I think it's an interesting take to a trench coat. I have purchased from this brand before. I've also reviewed them in this channel multiple times. Most of my basics are from them and in my experience all of the pieces that I've gotten in the past have been a really good quality. I did stay true to size and usually size extra small for the brand and sometimes even extra extra small depending on the piece. It feels thinner because it's not fully lined. So the lining goes just below the chest area. So all the coats that I'm showing today has a flap, almost cape looking on the back, but only this one has it on the sides up front. This one does not have that button strap detail on the shoulder, but it does have it on the cuffs, though it is like halfway, so it doesn't go all the way around the wrist. The coat itself is made of 100% cotton, and it does feel like that traditional cotton material. In terms of quality, it does look and feel well made. Everlane is known for the quality pieces, and this one, in my opinion, did not disappoint. The cut for this coat is an A-line shape and the overall style has a more relaxed fit. So remember how I was saying that the first coat I showed from Reformation was described as being relaxed and I don't think it is? Well, this one is very much relaxed. This one is from all these stories. I first ordered my normal size with the brand and I now regret not getting it on camera to show you because it was giant on me. I mean, you couldn't even see my fingers. I think more than relaxed is oversized. 
I then ordered this one which is an extra small and though it fits good it's still a bit oversized which I don't mind but this sleeve fits really long on me and so if I were to keep this one I'll have to pull this sleeve back and wear it like the model on the picture is wearing it or having professionally fixed. The main feature that got my attention for this coat was the color. The website says it's in a beige color, but compared to the other beiges <laughs> coat, this one has more like a richer tone with more yellow undertone, which is the color that I usually go for because it does tend to look better on my yellow undertone complexion. It has a two-tone button that all of these coats have. It's sleek on the back of the skirt, which most of these also have, some with an extra little added detail, but this one is just a slit opening and this one too has a removable belt. It is fully lined and the main material is made of 100% cotton. It has a double breasted style and it is also in the longer side along with the one from Reformation, the other one from Other Story and the one from Everlane. This one does not have that button line detail on the shoulder, but it does have it on the cuffs. In terms of quality, it is there, especially at the price point and when you compare it to some of the other coats that I talked about, which are almost twice as much in cost. If your personal style is more towards oversized pieces or you just like your coats to be in the oversized fit, I think this one is a great option, especially if you have longer arms or if you are taller. Those were all the colors I ended up trying on. I hope that this was helpful and that you liked. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Let me know if you have any questions down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!